Seek Reconciliation, A Guide to Mending Fences. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive deep into the beauty of the English language and unlock the secrets to effective communication. Today, we're exploring a powerful phrase that plays a pivotal role in resolving conflicts and building bridges. Seek reconciliation. Understanding this concept is not just about expanding your vocabulary. It's about enhancing your ability to navigate social situations and mend relationships. So, let's get started on this journey of healing and understanding. Reconciliation is the process of making two opposing sides agreeable or harmonious again. It involves resolving misunderstandings, conflicts, or disagreements in a way that restores peace and allows for positive relationships to continue or restart. When we seek reconciliation, we are actively looking for ways to mend a broken relationship, heal wounds, and find common ground with someone we've had a dispute or misunderstanding with. It's about putting aside differences to re-establish a connection based on mutual respect and understanding. You might wonder why it's important to seek reconciliation. The truth is, conflicts and misunderstandings are a natural part of human relationships. However, letting these issues fester can lead to resentment, anger, and a breakdown in communication. By seeking reconciliation, we open the door to healing emotional wounds. Addressing the issue head-on can help both parties move forward. Improving relationships, clearing up misunderstandings can strengthen bonds and deepen understanding. Creating a positive environment. Resolved conflicts contribute to a more peaceful and cooperative environment, whether at home, work, or in social settings. Seeking reconciliation can feel daunting, but here are some steps to guide you through the process. 1. Acknowledge the issue. Recognize that there has been a misunderstanding or conflict that needs to be addressed. 2. Initiate communication. Reach out to the other person to discuss the issue. It's important to approach this conversation with openness and humility. 3. Listen actively. Give the other person a chance to share their side of the story without interruption. Understanding their perspective is crucial. 4. Apologize if necessary. If you've played a part in the conflict, offer a sincere apology. It can go a long way in mending fences. 5. Find a common ground. Look for solutions that address the concerns of both parties. The goal is to find a compromise that restores harmony. 6. Agree to move forward. Once an agreement is reached, commit to leaving the past behind and moving forward positively. Seeking reconciliation is not just about resolving conflicts. It's about fostering a culture of understanding, respect, and empathy. It can be challenging, but the rewards of rekindled relationships and a peaceful environment are invaluable. We hope this guide has given you the tools and confidence to seek reconciliation in your own life. Remember, it's the brave and compassionate choice to mend fences and build bridges. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to exploring more aspects of the English language with you. Until next time, take care.